And we're back. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of Rift Breaker. I thought we'd use this to uh, to test out the new 1440p settings. Now I had to do a bunch of fiddling around with OBS and DaVinci Resolve and a whole bunch of things, so I'm not sure how good the quality is going to turn out. I've been looking at a lot of videos on this, but you know what? I just want to start playing Rift Breaker. I did a, a few hours last night, so I have a little bit of an idea of how this thing works. And uh, let's see. Great, we've jumped. Basically, you're going to jump to an alien planet. You have to set it up for colonization, but realistically, from what I can tell, this is a game all about your mech. You come in in a mech and you build a base, but the whole point of the base is just so that you can research upgrades for your mech. I mean, I don't know if that's exactly what it's supposed to be, but it's how it feels when I play it. Anyway, we're in here. Uh, there is Carbonium. Perfect. Carbonium is going to be your main resource. You also come with two weapons on your mech. You can see it in here. We've got your left hand and your right hand. Using the left mouse button, we'll use that. Using the right mouse button, we'll use the weapon in my right hand, which is that thing. And then you use E to change that weapon. It just means you have two weapons going on at all times. Kind of nice. The first thing you're going to need to do is build yourself a headquarters. But to do that, you need to mine a little bit of carbonium. You don't come with enough. So we'll just grab that and put it over there. Done. Then you're going to want to keep mining because the next thing you're going to want is carbonium mines. But that requires a headquarters. We'll get one of those in a minute. It also is going to require 50 carbonium apiece. And you can see we're mining it up here. Carbonium is increasing. If you want to mine when you're standing on top of a resource, just hit space. And there we go. We've got our first mine. That's basic training, Mr. We're also going to need power. Right, let's find some wide open spaces. We're going to be putting in a lot of power. You know what? Let's just stick it there. We'll put in one wind, one solar and one battery, just to demonstrate all of them. Oh, and while that's going on, I'm going to grab some more Carbonium. You're going to spend a lot of your time, well, not a lot of time, you're going to spend a little bit of time early on mining some Carbonium manually. You won't be doing this for very long. Oh, it turns out you can actually silence those. That's really nice. I just turned the volume off on them. Anyway, uh, this here is your wind turbine. Wind turb turbines work all year round. They're great. Solar only works during daylight hours, and then you've got your power storage over there that helps even out the flow. Problem is, there's events that can disable your wind, there's events that can disable your solar, so you're going to need to get a little bit of a mixed grid to keep things going nicely. Uh, as well as that, it takes an awful lot of carbonium. We're at 350. Oh, we've maxed out our carbonium symbolized. One second. In that case, we'll just stick down some power. You can never, ever have too much power. And uh, we'll put another one there. A couple more solar, I think. Yeah, that should be plenty. And that probably has eaten through most of our carbonium. Done. Then what you're going to want to do is put a little bit of defenses around. Realistically, your mech is going to handle most of the problems that come your way, but a few walls to help slow down the incoming enemies is a good idea. So excuse me while I do a little bit of mining, and then I'm just going to chuck a bunch of walls around the place. All right, mining complete. Then all we do is we go in here and we go into defenses, and this is where you get all your nice stuff for building things. We're just going to go very simple here. We're not we're not really going to do anything too complex, I should say. Uh, yeah, we'll put that down to about there. I... I'm not even trying to make this nice. There's ways you can expand, like by, oh, using walls and natural rock formations and stuff to try and claim more land. No, we don't care about any of that just yet. We'll expand as we go. But generally what I found is your best bet, mine everything like crazy, slap down mines on everything everywhere you go, and, oh, damn it, I messed that one up. They want us to build six sentinel towers because there's an attack coming in. Uh, nah, I don't, I don't really care too much. We've got, oh, there's Carbonium Ore, excellent. You know what, let's stick down another set of mines. Uh, yeah, you, uh, Carbonium, Carbonium, and Carbonium. This is just way better. <laughs> oh, one thing, you can uh, you have to extend your power grid by linking up to your base, but what you can do is pretty much like Factorio, you hold down and drag, and it will just keep moving them out as you go. Oh my God, that's so annoying. One second while I get rid of some of these uh, trees. Out of the way. Is that a meteor? Yeah, I think a meteor just flew by. Uh, I should go investigate that at some point, but you know what? No. What we're going to do over here is do what I normally do in these situations when you find a new mine. Eh, we'll just expand this out a bit. I'm going to need to put in some extra stuff here later on, so we'll just give ourselves a little bit of space. And done. Oh, wait. Yeah, door. You rotate the doors with the middle mouse button. There, we've now doubled our carbonium production, which is great because that allows us to increase our power output, increase everything, basically. Uh, in fact, let's go find some more carbonium. Ooh, look, we found iron ore. Iron ore is not hugely essential this early on, but you know what? We might as well tap into it while we're here. It uses a slightly different mine. What the? Ow, where did you come from? Die. Yeah, there's some invisible enemies here. Well, that was annoying. Yeah, usually the... 
Ooh, yeah, that's explosive stuff. Usually the iron irononium, or the first ir irononium. Let's just, just, just call it iron. Usually the first iron you find will be protected by something, and you will have to kill it. I kind of got distracted, though. All right, so then we're just going to stick down a few iron mines here. And this is pretty much how you do most of the early game. Finding these areas, walling them in, and then running a power cable back to your core base. And then uh, expanding your power when you redline your power grid because you forgot that you've been hooking up so many mines and you didn't include enough power. I leave myself a little bit of space with all of these because I do come back and upgrade them later. The main thing here is just to pretend walls long enough so that it gives you time to get back. Uh, where are we going? Yeah, we're going back this way somewhere. As well as that, you will occasionally use your power lines and have to replace them, but they're honestly really cheap. Done. Now you'll see that we're getting... Uh, Iron in as well. Simple. Uh, what's our basic line? It's got 141. Ooh, we're going to have an attack coming in shortly. You know what? I think we'll throw down some more power and then maybe put in a few turrets just to get rid of that annoying thing up there. Got a little distracted and instead what I did was I walled in this whole area around here by just throwing down some wall segments. Uh, namely because our carbonium had already filled up. Now, one of the things we're also going to want to build... Oh, there's an attack showing up somewhere. Eh, we'll do it in a second. Uh, we're also going to throw down an armory. The armory actually requires iron, which was one of the reasons we went and got that ir ir iron earlier. Uh, we'll just chuck that down there. Done. That'll build the uh, armory. The armory re reloads your weapons. So, for example, this gun here has a set amount of bullets, and when it runs out, they're gone. Uh, where are the enemies? I haven't seen any enemies yet. Yeah, they'll be around in a bit. Oh, there we go. Down in the, uh, the map here, you'll see there's this blob. That's where the enemy wave is going to come from. We could probably run over there and have a chat with them if we wanted. And I walled myself in, didn't I? Hmm. Yeah, let's let's maybe put in a little door here somewhere. Yeah, there's, there's good, and we'll put in a door there. <laughs> As you can see, the enemies are attacking our base over down there. We're going to go down and say hello to them. Where are you? Yeah, here we go. I turned on the damage numbers. It really makes it much easier to figure these things out. Come on. Yeah, the early attacks are just pretty pathetic. A quick blade swipe and you can usually kill loads of them. And the enemies just seem to have no problem spending all of their time chewing on your walls. Which is pretty weak sauce. Hey! No, stop! Go away from my... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so... Hey, you! Stop! So as you can see, we took some minor damages, but nothing too major. You can bring up your repair tool and... Yeah, you repair all those wall segments done and then we'll just repair replace the wall segments that were lost this is pretty much how your early game is go going to go for a lot just claiming resources lots and lots of resources and then after that we're going to want to get into research in fact let's get into research right now actually I should probably cover one or two other things there's a, a power generator called the plant biomass power plant I usually throw one of those down because every time you're running through plants and you do this slash thing you see that green stuff that falls down that's plant biomass which you can then turn into electricity it's just a handy way to supplement your early power supply uh, at the same time, we need to... Oh, what is it? We need to grab some more power. I'm thinking we're going to chuck down a whole bunch of wind turbines here. Now, there is nice ways to build your grid. I just don't care. Uh, I usually just stick down four of those, four of those, and four energy storage. It's a little bit excessive, and oh, we're out of carbonium already. Let's go find another carbonium mine. On second thoughts, it might be an idea. Like, look at this speed our carbonium is going up at. It f keeps filling up our reserves too quickly. I think a good plan would be to put down some solid storage material. Uh, this just allows us to store excess stuff. Uh, we'll check a bunch of them in there. What? Oh, yeah, we're out of carbonium. Done. Then the next step is going to be research. Now, research requires us to upgrade our HQ. Uh, we need to get our hands on a, a communication hub. That's your basically your research building. However, to do that, you need to... Or is it upgrade this building? And that requires 500 carbonium and 500 iron. Oh, damn it. Right. Let me let me go grab some more carbonium and some more iron. Yeah, uh, our storage capacity now goes up to 950, which means you can now actually afford it. We didn't manage to find any more carbonium deposits, unfortunately, but uh, we're just... Yeah, we got enough resources. Every time you upgrade your headquarters, it's going to attra attract a big attack to try and kill you. Uh, new objective, strong attack incoming, one minute, one minute 55. Great, whatever. Uh, while we're waiting for that, let's go find some more carbonium. Well, here come the enemies now. Uh, let's go kill some of them. I threw down a few mines, pretty much scattered them around the place. Hey, you, come here. Ooh, ranged units are a little bit of annoyance, but honestly, you're just better off getting in close and smacking them with the blade. The blade does so much damage, and you're... Like, the machine gun's okay for clearing out minor issues, but uh, I just find that the close combat weapons just have way more oomph. And done. That was literally the entire attack way for upgrading our HQ, which, yeah, pretty easy. One second while we repair. One other quick thing I did was I stuck down portals in all of the locations. You can build portals, they're super cheap. They cost 25 carbonium, they don't require power, 
and they allow you to teleport around the map like so and we're back home so this allows you to quickly hop out to outposts that you may have and down here we have built ourselves the communication hub as you can see my uh very very neat building policy has been yeah just chuck Not things wherever i want them biomass. now uh next up i think we're going to do some more expansion probably claim more area just uh, the more space we have we can chuck down more power more everything because as you'll see our carbonium is maxing out already this here is your research lab now to access it you just uh, i think it's the o key yeah oh now you've got three sections to choose from this one is all about upgrading well your buildings and things like that so if you want to ew, to increase your headquarters level you would research this technology it takes five minutes and once you have it researched it actually increases the amount of communication hubs you can have which yeah i kind of want that that would be very very nice in fact we're going to add that immediately to the research queue so that will double our research capacity in fact that's going to be a running theme here we're going to try and mainline down here so that we can increase the amount of research we get and skimp on pretty much everything else in here though there are some really fun weapons. The first one is the spear. We're going to add that to the list. In fact, ooh, should we get the spear first? You know what? We'll make the spear first, then we'll get the headquarters. After that, we're going to want grenades, because grenades are great. And then we're going to want to get ourselves uh, explosive weaponry. That's pretty much it. Once we've got those knocked out, we're going to spend the rest of our time focusing down here for a while. It'll make more sense as we go. But first, let's get ourselves a spear. Excellent. Technology finished. That means we can go straight back in here. It tells us that the research is finished. It's spears. We go under crafting. And under here, you've got all the different weapons and things you can craft. First up, let's grab a spear. We'll craft one of those. Crafting completed. Yeah, perfect. And we'll replace this sucker with it. The sword is okay, but you know what? The spear is far, far better. In fact, it's a it's an incredible upgrade. And uh, we'll go through that in a minute. I'm going to come in here under armor plating and... Oh, we can't. We're out of carbonium. There's a few extra things you can craft. What the hell is this? Oh, I think I found this on... Yeah, I found this on my other playthrough. So it must be shared between them. Hmm. Uh, this is some power jump we can get, but we're not going to worry about that. Uh, over here, you can also craft out another bunch of guns. And you know what? Let's craft ourselves a shotgun. I rarely use it, but... Completed. It can't hurt, can it? Yeah, let's throw in a shotgun over this side. And... Done. Now we just got to get more research. Uh, next up, yeah, headquarters level three. Once headquarters level three is done, we'll switch into another section. And now this is the spear. The great thing about it is it has massive range and it also does cryo damage. You'll find out in a moment when we go and pick a fight. For example, down here we have a big rock thing and we're just going to hit it with this thing. And you see, it's slowed down. It's kind of, it's basically a freeze spear. But at the same time, it has pierce damage and it goes to enemies. So you can freeze multiple enemies in a row and then just slowly back off from them while just, you know, smacking them in the face with a spear works quite handily at killing pretty much most targets that you're going to encounter early on in the game anyway. Over here we have a bunch of uh, ranged units and you can see we're smashing through loads of them and it just slaughters them. This spear is the most OP weapon I've found so far. It does just incredible amounts of damage, does it in a line, freezes things, works against ranged units even, well, assuming you can get close enough, and pretty much slaughters everything. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, okay, we may have bitten off a little bit. But that's fine, that's fine. We just have to keep an eye out for those uh, big explosive shells that are getting lobbed at us. Give me your you. Where do you think you three, four are going? And all four dead. That's the power of the spirit. Dear Lord, this thing is just a beast. After installing a couple of more mines, I think we've got a couple more researches done. We've got headquarters level three and grenade standard, which is great. In fact, we are going to immediately go and craft ourselves some grenades. Those things are super helpful. Hey. Mr. Grenades. Oh, yeah, you come in here. Uh, grenades are a skill. So these are the two skills you start with. Instant repair and small mine. Instant repair is free. It takes 25 seconds and it just repairs 25% of your hit points. Very handy as you take damage. This is grenades. You know what? I'll demonstrate grenades. Uh, simplest way to do that. Let's trigger an attack. And uh, we'll upgrade this. By upgrading our headquarters at another level, we can get ourselves our hands on more research, which speeds up our research, which allows us to get our hands on more research. It's a little bit of a crazy spiral if you do it right. Well, that's my thinking. After starting that upgrade on the uh, the base, we've got a, an incoming attack. It's coming from down here. It's going to be two waves of them. I figure this is the closest area of our base to them, so I've chucked down a bunch of mines. Build more storage we, facilities. we have plenty of mines in the area. Hey, can you place that there? Perfect couple more mines everywhere can't hurt of course if they bypass these we'll just have to kill them but we don't care we have this giant spear we'll be fine well sounds like they're coming yep yeah, there they are come on come on there's a few there should be two ways of them so this should be quite large but i'm kind of disappointed so far hurry up 
Come on. Though I suppose this is the perfect choke point for his spear. Dear lord. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't found anything better than the spear so far at just murdering so many so quickly. The thing is, it just it slows them down, which means the enemies have a, a horrible problem closing the distance with you. As well as that, it pierces, so it does massive damage in a line. Like, look at that. Dead, dead, dead. Even against pretty much all unit types, it just slaughters horrifically. I'm sure there's better stuff that will come along, but for now, I think we are good. Okay, with that done, teleport back to base. And now we can increase our research production. Oh yeah, I've put in some wonky walls here. I, I don't care. I was messing around. Uh, this allows us to put down another communications hub, so we'll stick that there just so I can remember where they all are. Uh, can we upgrade these, I wonder? Oh, we can actually upgrade that one immediately. Now, if we go into science, let's check how our science is looking right now. You know what? We'll wait until this is finished. We're going to have a quick look here at what the research labs look like right now for an expensive research. Let's say headquarters level four. Research time, two minutes, 30. Okay, that's, that's actually pretty cheap. Uh, next one down is 6 minutes 15. So 2 minutes 30 and 6 minutes 15. Now let's finish these off. All technologies are upgraded. Now let's have a quick look on our research tree. Oh, yeah, explosive weapons are done. We're going to want to craft those in a minute. And uh, what are these at? Uh, this is at 2 minutes 30 for this, and this one's down to 6.15. What were they before? No, never mind. The more, the more you have, the faster things go up. So is there any particular tech we want to knock out really quick? You know what? Let's just go straight to the next level of headquarters. This will allow us to get uh, communication hub level 3 as well. So this is going to drastically increase our research times. I mean, as it is, we could say research uh, reactive armor in about 1 minute 15. Uh, this stuff is only 37 seconds, this is 50 seconds. Actually, let's just go with this one. 1 minute 15 for reactive armor, or reflective armor. We'll come back after we've uh, upgraded these, uh, get a third research lab down and upgraded them all to level 3. Occasionally, you're going to find these things on the map. They show up as that sort of orange blob down there. Yeah, or is it? yeah this orange blob over there. These things, when you activate them, will usually give you something nice. However, they also summon a bunch of enemies. So first, I think we're going to go straight into upgrades, and we're going to generate... Yeah, we're going to craft ourselves the floating mine. Yeah, we'll go with that. In fact, we're going to get rid of most of this junk over this side. We'll replace that with the floating mine layer. Perfect. Then we can also go in and craft ourselves a rocket launcher, which also one of my more favorite Crafting items. Completed. In fact, the rocket launcher will also go over here. And this is not a great idea to put the rocket launcher over here in a lot of instances because it uses the same ammo as the floating mine layer. But these are more niche applications I use them for. The spear is going to be my main damage dealer, my spear and grenades. But what this allows you to do is we can now go into the floating mine layer and it allows us to... Oh. Probably shouldn't have pressed that button. It allows us to just place mines like this. And this allows us to secure the area to help us deal with any nasties that are going to show up. And Oh my god. You guys just die, would you? God, that spear is just brutal. Uh, uh, you. And one more mine, I think, right about there. Oh, wait, we're out of ammo. Great. But we also have the mines we can lay off us off our inventory, so that's number two. And then we just hold down space. Then what'll happen is you'll mine at it, and then suddenly a bunch of enemies will show up out of nowhere. And when they do... Oh, they hit a mine. Oh, God. And a quick grenade, and problem solved. And added all of those are dead, you go back here and you just go back to mining it again. Once you do, you should get your hands on something nice. It explodes, and I think that's a mod we get, is it? Yeah, you have unlocked a unique item, Power Jump Fire. Okay. Uh, power Jump Fire. Movement skill that lets the mechas who jump and attack with a fire shockwave that burns enemies. Uh, we need cobalt for it. That shouldn't be too hard to get in the near future. And how's your headquarters looking? Ah. Our research for headquarters is almost done. In 10 more seconds, we will have uh, the opportunity to upgrade our headquarters and get ourselves into even more trouble. Oh, hi, guys. A new technology has been developed. New Jeez. buildings are available <laughs> for construction. Oh, God, killing them is just too easy at this point. Before we upgrade the HQ, let's uh, queue up a few upgrades. Uh, one thing I'd like to get my hands on is reactive armor. Actually, no, we'll leave reactive armor to last because that's the one we're keeping an eye on to see how our research time is decreased. We'll just grab a few of these. They're actually quite handy to get. Oh, that armory one we're definitely going to need. And, oh, I want this one. So we're going to want spear level two at some point. So oh, yeah, that means we need to get armory. Then we need to get that. And then we can finally get spear level two. Under the colony section, we do want to get our hands on geothermal power plants. They drastically increase power production. And there is a few of them around. So it would be nice to have those. I don't really care about a bunch of these other ones, but we'll grab those while we're here because they're pretty cheap. All right, with that done, let's uh, upgrade this sucker. What do we need? Oh, 
we're gonna need more iron iron damn it fine i'll go make an iron mine after a bunch of running around we're ready to upgrade this sucker here we're gonna have a strong attack incoming we don't really care too much uh research wise we were just doing some research in the background on random things oh and i think our armory is finished we can put down a second armory this allows you to replenish your ammo faster uh you know what you can go over there why not no rhyme or reason to any of this uh we can also upgrade our old armory can't we oh I should have actually built that one at max level. That was silly. One other piece of tech I just grabbed was radar. I'd forgotten how useful that was. It's a... Uh, you know what? We'll just chuck one down so you can see what it does. Uh, so let's check that right there. Radar gives you a view all of the map and it basically lets you see what's in a radius around your base. Also very handy for putting on outposts. So for example, let's hop over to this outpost over here, immediately stick down a radar. Perfect. In fact, we're going to hop around to a few of our outposts and do that. And would you look at that? Those big radiuses, that's where we can see bad guys. So any enemies that are inside those radars, we can see them coming. It'll give us a, a bit of an early warning when things come after us. So, okay, there's three things down here. They're probably all going to converge there or there. So let's go start laying mines. Here come our enemies now. Excellent. Maybe now we can actually get to show off the grenades. I never really got a chance last time because, well, it just, there weren't enough enemies to actually care. Grenades do a nice mess of damage, and combined with the spear, they're just excellent. Nope. Our base is getting attacked in multiple locations. We're going to probably lose an outpost or two during this, because we've concentrated solely on making our base, well, defending our base with the mech. But we don't really care too much. So yeah, just give me a few minutes while I take care of this mess. While we wait for all this research to finish, it's time we tapped into a few things, namely power. Yeah, we have uh, these new suckers, geothermal power plants. We'll throw one of them on there. In fact, we're going to have to go around and tap into all the geothermal. It's 100 power. Free power? Hell yeah. Uh, for example, these water ones, or the wind turbines, only produce about 12. Uh, solar produces 20 when the sun is shining. So 100 power out of these? Hells yes. Now, let's go on a little bit of a colonizing spree. Well, it turns out my plan is not perfect. Um, we're going to need an awful lot of iron to upgrade these even further. Problem. We'll go, we're going to have to go and uh, get some, but we do have three of these at level two. Let's have a quick look at the research queue here. Oh, and we've researched headquarters level five. Can't actually do that yet because we need just an ungodly amount of resources to do that. We are quite far down that tech tree. I think, uh, where is it? One of the things we're going to have to get is an improvement to our mining. Yes, level two mining. 9 minutes 43, ooh, 1 minute 15 for that. You know what? Might be worth it. Let me have a quick look through the tech tree here and see what's worth getting right now. Oh, reactive armor is down to 50 seconds. Yeah, we'll we'll totally take that. It's it's worth it. I don't really care about the dodge roll. And yeah, we've got radar. Let's, let's get emergency explosion. It can't hurt, technically. We'll grab advanced sword because that gets us one step closer to spear level 2. Yeah, and we, once that kicks in, we can get spear level two, which is perfect. And I think we're going, probably going to want to get the minigun at some point. Where's the minigun? Ooh, yeah. You know, 12, 12 minutes, that's way too long. Ooh, instant repair. I like that one. One of the things you're going to encounter every so often is uh, big bosses type things, like this yoke here. Well, this isn't a big boss, but they basically have very high hit points. And getting close to them for long periods of time is usually bad for your health. So what I like to do is load up the rocket launcher. This thing can load up to five rockets if you hold down the right, the if you hold down the mouse button and charge it. And then when you release it, it does an absolutely cataclysmic amount of damage. It fires five rockets in rapid succession, and all five of those rockets get a 50% damage bonus. So it just, it mince meets everything in its way. Two volleys of that is enough to kill most bosses. Well, early game bosses anyway. So one of the things I beeline for is a more advanced spear for obvious reasons. Well, once we got a little bit of tech under our belt. So now that we've got uh, the advanced spear up and running, we can actually craft ourselves an even more in improved spear. Uh, more improved. Anyway, plus a thousand carbonium. Nice. And then we immediately slot in the new advanced spear. It just has higher DPS, more damage, uh, better cryo freeze. I think the range, though, is identical. Anyway, with that equipped, we also get access to a mod slot, which allows us to slot in mods. Mods are things you basically find from killing mobs. You, they occasionally drop them. You can't really see these. I don't, I'm not sure how you see these until you get a weapon that can take a mod slot. So we could increase its critical damage, its damage over time, or stun chance enabled. Huh. Enables a chance to stun enemies. Nine percent chance. Not really that useful. Damage over time? Oh, the cryo damage goes up. 
Eh, critical chance. You know what? I'll take the critical chance. Considering how many things we hit, a bit of crit damage can't hurt. Right now, we have just queued up a whole mass of uh, production. In fact, what I'm trying to find is how do I improve storage? Wait, found it. There it is. Eh, it's going to take eight minutes. You know what? We'll do it. Otherwise, our storage has just gotten too ridiculous. Anyway, we're about to get attacked by some uh, enemies, which you'll notice on our map there. There's a lot of mines waiting for them. Where are you? Yeah, there they are. Yeah, insta death. Come on. All of them are going to head this direction, and we have a lot of mines waiting for them. I mean, it won't kill them all, but that's why we have spears. Christ. Ah. Ah, this should only take a few moments. And that was a large attack. Pathetic. All right, let's expand some more. Actually, I'm running out of time for today, so maybe I'll just cover one or two quick things before we finish up. Uh, one thing I should have done a while back was ah, these emergency explosion and radar pulse. These two can both be slotted in, but we just have to craft them first. They go in your uh, they go in your craft item here, down here. So we can put in emergency explosion. This looks to be something where if you get surrounded, you detonate it and uh, it basically causes everything around you to get exploded, which seems like a nice idea. Uh, then the second one was the radar pulse. This just allows you to have a portable radar on you. In fact, we can demonstrate that right now. We're out here coming up to the edge of the map or edge of our uh, radar view, and then we can just pop number five. Oh. And there you go. We get a little view cone radius so we can find out where all the baddies are. And then we can just, you know, kill them all. Then, last but not least, where was it? This is one I should have done ages ago. Uh, yes, armor plating, reflective armor. I held off on getting us just sort of keep uh, keep this as a visible thing, but we're going to craft this. Crafting completed. In fact, we're going to craft it again. Crafting completed. Oh, and I'm out of irononium. No, never mind. Uh, in that case, we'll go back into inventory over here. And what you can do is you can slot in upgrades. So we're going to stick in reactive armor. In fact, you can stick in two. I don't know if it stacks, but theoretically, does it? Does anyone know? Let me let me know if that does stack, because if that's the case, that's 20% damage reflection which seems like a lot. Anyway, this is Riftbreaker. I'm going to do a few more episodes on it because I want to see how this plays out, especially considering the strategy of going really deep on the, the tech here. This the extra, mm, the extra research we're getting out of this is actually quite nice. If we go back to our... No, this is the wrong base. If we go back to our main base over here, we can check out our research labs down here. I've upgraded these two to level three. This one, it's going to be a while before we've got the resources for it. What is it? Carbon it costs... Deposit depleted. 1600 carbonium and 2400 iron oh wow uh, so that's why we're going off on a little bit of a spree we're going out across here to find more iron deposits I, what i want to do is it seems there's a finite map so i want to sort of core out the map and go all the way around and just radar everything so we can see enemies coming from a mile away but anyway this was rift breaker i uh hope you enjoyed it good luck Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. An energy connector has been destroyed. a breach in our walls. The technology queue is idle. Select new technologies for development.